Hi Fox, so are you doing? This is your favorite host, SJ Srana. So, Energy Singhan reporting for November 6, 2023 at about 1100 hours 11 minutes, 1111 hours UTC. Uh, first, take a look at the sun. Uh, we're going to discuss various topics. Uh, so, but first, a look at the sun, which is basically giving this major corona hole. Uh, which has been going on for the last five days and we see it's fading on the other side however uh, we are going to face a lot of CMEs uh, as, as I've been predicting so folks uh, let's take a look at what's going on around I'm going to present some of the topics this is some of the glimpses of my residence uh, where I've been uh, using the robotic technologies uh, and I've been trying to see what we have in future ahead and I uh, wish to just convey that a lot of things which are going to happen now uh, in the world events are going to be very phenomenal as I've been predicting all along for past seven days that war are going to intensify so a lot of wars are going to come up and a lot of other topics so as you can see stay tuned I've been uh, reporting past 12 years you can see this my old site before its news you can search by SJSRANA on these stories are there and you can see like, I've been reporting all these events uh, way beyond comprehension for past 12 years uh, under the total uh, free for all topics discussions and whatnot but these predictions are basically there for the world to take the heed and try to see what they can do to see the better outcome of the world because these events are going to take place I've been predicting before I jump to the main topic and my major uh, next predictions, I'm just going to stay tuned on these my old sites. Basically, this before it's news, uh, you can see my SJS Rana biography by a page. I'm putting up this information for you folks to see because a lot of uh, sabotaging attempts on my identity has been done. A lot of people who are impersonating and imposters imposters are there who are going to take advantage claiming uh, they know me or they link to me or they are basically me and this is basically very common in india uh, cyber crime in india is increasing by 62% via y year year on year rapes in india are increasing by at least 4 to 5% basically on average so you can imagine amount of uh, basically cyber crime and sabotaging identity and scammers frauds are all increasing day by day in India. And we see these events where our uh, people are trying to basically grab anything they can grab, uh, basically by fraud, force, coercion, whatever you, you see, it's there. So these people uh, are going to basically cause humanity fall into abyss in time to come. However, if we stay clear from them, we are better off. As you can see, I keep moving around and I've seen a lot of things which are around. And a lot of uh, true portal which I can only give you from my side will be there whenever we see what is going on. So uh, you can see over here I have a, uh, my car here. I've been just trying to uh, have some problem which I'm going to address. And uh, basically I was just parking there. And as you can see the oil prices shooting up. However, with the war going on, uh, the oil prices are slumped because of the low demand, but the demand is robust for the year 2023 and 2024. So various other events, basically Israel. So the first topic of mine is going to be on the Israel Hamas war. Uh, my last update was on October 4th, uh, where I've tried to give some glimpses on the world events. Thereafter, I have not released major video. However, now this uh, release of mine on YouTube is coming to uh, give the events further what we see. So on October 4th, I've already warned that we'll see a lot of upheavals on Earth and we'll see a lot of uh, war preparations and a lot of uncertainty uh, prevails. Now on October 7th, as we all know, 2023, there was major attack on Israel by Hamas forces. And this has been basically one of the major turning events for 2023 and as we see for the decade because Israel has not faced such a major uh, attack basically by a small group of people uh, and since Je uh, Holocaust which was during the 1945, 1944, 43, 42 events uh, Israel has not faced as such on attacks on Jews uh, basically this attack is also so this is more like a religious war I can I can sense 
and my prediction goes well with in line where i've been saying that we will see the war intensify in a month to come so basically all of december is going to be very volatile very violent oriented uh, month in december 2023 lot of attacks lot of missiles i see across so we are basically finding israel now in a position where it is finding itself to uh, make or break situation so israel pm mr nathanyahu has already been uh, proclaiming that it's fighting a major war and it's not going to pay heed to uh, calls for ceasefire again because it wants to eliminate the terror that's what their uh, proclamation is and despite all outgoing protest in israel over Uh, having another ceasefire so they can exchange hostages but i don't see this is going to be a uh, occurring event in near future so basically this war which escalated from october 7 2023 where uh, rocket attacks from hamas leading into the major non nuclear base of uh, iran israel was seen now we are finding that this situation is worsening every passing day and uh, there are questions which people ask me whether there is a possibility of nuclear weapons being used well there is a uh, glimp uh, possibility however we see that iran if gets involved in this war then we can see a nuclear war instantly and i predict again yes it will be instantly nuclear war if some of iran gets involved with israel in this war however uh, the possibilities does seem low because iran is not in a position right now to engage uh, this while russia is fighting ukraine war it will not be able to fight or provide support to two or three fronts however russia should be prepared for that if it has to be a nuclear superpower we see uh, us providing lot of support to israel obviously it has to because uh, israel cannot fight this war all alone by itself it though it can but it is going to be too preoccupied with uh, one or two fronts only however uh, what we are seeing is us providing lot of aid lot of military equipments uh, to israel and also key military support where we have seen in recent uh, times where uh, the ships the carrier military carrier ships in red sea have directly fired over is- iran uh, over over syria for the iran uh, bases or those people who are having rocket launches so uh, all in all i want to just say that this war is going to continue on the front of russia and ukraine war we see ukraine is stuck with this uh, never ending war and uh, even though russia is seem losing lot of troops over 50k russian troops are almost lost in this war and much more is seen ahead as far as russia ukraine war is concerned putin is overwhelmed with the amount of uh, attacks from ukraine is going on with drones inside russia as well now uh, for, for the second time putin is on a trip it saudi arabia and uae to form alliance and to forge future uh, alliance on not only war but economic fronts including the oil crude oil which is basically uh, two of the nations russia and saudi arabia together are one of the largest uh, you can say global network of providing oil to the world uh while there is a problem with russia oil being directly uh, supported to world because of the us sanctions however india having some key partnership with russia is trying to resell russia oil through its own market so we know india is a major consumption consumer of the oil and it's always in deficit for oil however now it has become surplus oil producing nation it is basically a bizarre scenario how come india is a oil producing nation or an oil exporting nation why because it's basically in taking all cheap oil the cheap oil from russia and it's trying to brand it uh, as make in india brand on all the oil barrels and reselling it to europe so now india has become the largest oil seller to europe can you believe that what kind of corruption is going at global oil front so it's nothing more than a corruption western nations are hand in glove with this corruption cartel of oil and they are basically getting lubricated by india where it is able to resell the russia oil to world markets so this is a deep game political game geopolitical tensions going on uh, well i'll have to take another topic to discuss in in detail on this however what we see russia is basically now planning to align with middle east and trying to have some say in uh, opec also as you know brazil has joined opec 
and OPEC has basically promised to cut the oil production because of the falling prices of oil as India is uh, basically destroying all the oil markets of the world by uh, pushing surplus Russia oil in the world market. However, now another issue with Russia as Russia is losing a lot of troops, a lot of men are engaged in battle. The Russia President Putin has been urging all the females uh, of Russia to have more babies. Uh, it's, uh, Russia is trying to, uh, trying to basically encourage them to have more than five or six babies uh, so that they can have the population growth in Russia. So in future wars, as you know, the uh, military troops, men, personnel are required as Russia has been seeing in this latest war with Ukraine. It has lost over 50k troops, men. So it's a major shift in the game. game. While we see a lot of tensions flaring up, whereas uh, now there was a big event with India and the US after the past Canada event, where India government official was caught red-handed. The plot to assassinate a US citizen was caught by the US authorities, where the India government agent was uh, basically hiring a hitman for 100k US dollars to basically murder broad daylight murder of a U.S. citizen. If you can remember, there was uh, two months before, there was an event in Canada where uh, Canada accused India government of directly hiring hitmen to kill a uh, uh, murder a uh, Canadian citizen on Canadian soil. So that was re basically immediately rebuked or uh, rebuffed by India authorities, basically the foreign uh, affairs ministers, uh, claiming that Canada is accusing India unreasonably. However, upon uh, intelligence based on five eyes, they confirmed that India authorities are behind assassinating Sikh activists in foreign nations. However, that subsided because of a lot of hues and cries by India. However, now U.S. directly caught India government official, which is uh, basically a Nikhil Gupta person, uh, who was basically caught by the CIA, the American authorities over plot to kill the U.S. citizen on U.S. soil. Again, this was some Sikh activist who was basically uh, known for being pro-Khalistan or pro-movement of a separate state, a Punjab state in India. And that was the reason why this assassination was done and 100k U.S. dollar was paid to hire a hitman. This is one of the worst failure of India intelligence and uh, the demonic devils, which is uh, seen here basically playing with money to murder people. And this is something which is non-democratic. Only a dictatorship nation or a Hitler-type nation would do such things. But India is seen doing such things. So people are saying, is India becoming a dictator nation? Uh, so because democratic nations would never do such things. That is what every democratic nation is asking India. What kind of democracy, largest democracy of the world, darling of the US, is doing? Hiring a hitman to kill simple activists? This is the most disgraceful and shameful act by a nation. And India is proud to do such things. However, only recently India has taken the accountability to do an investigation on this. Okay, folks, uh, we know all these uh, high-level crimes, uh, international crimes are occurring from India, which is a shameless uh, situation. And I don't know how India democracy is going to reply to such events. Now, we come back to India again. And uh, India NCRB, which is National Crime Record Bureau, published from New Delhi, published this report for year 2022, uh, where they have seen 4% rise in crime against women. So from 2021 to 2022, the whole 2022 year, we see 4% rise in crime against women. And there has been complete uh, discouraging report, only encouraging perverse predators, where these uh, rape cases, crimes against women, females, abduction, kidnapping, molestation, sex uh, trafficking, sex trade, which is not included in this report, but we see this is very discouraging report from India. And the amount of uh, rise state by state has been defined, whereas they find New Delhi has the largest crime against women. However, the state of Rajasthan, state of Rajasthan is having the largest number of rape cases in 2022. 
so this is a very discouraging report only encouraging predators perverts pedophiles that people are basically enjoying females girls daily this is not including the stats of daily sex trafficking of females under metaphor moron rapist guidelines uh, i'm just uh, trying to briefly touch this topic again i have touched in my last topics you can always go back and find where i've detailed what are metaphor moron rapist sex trafficking agencies of india okay they play a game in neighborhood by taking a scheme or theme in hand and they put the female as a prey and all the pedophile predators goons and rapists can play this game mostly they win the females because uh, they are basically most abundantly available visible creatures in india the pedophiles perverts are most abundantly available visible creatures in india so no doubt any metaphor game these morons these predators these rapists will pick up the females first and i think that's how the females are presenting themselves or they are forced by the sex trafficking agencies of india so you can see these are the latest graphs of india crime record where you'll find apart from 4% rise in crime against the women you find the largest number jump surge in crime is crime against foreigners which is 28% at the bottom row you can find this is crime against foreigners which has jumped by 28% so basically the foreigners which is not residing in india or which are foreign nations like western nations us canada uk they are being befooled by indian metaphor morons rapists or you can say impersonators or imposters so this is the crime against the foreigners which is having a surge of 28% yoy year on year so you can imagine how clever the india imposters scammers are they can befool even the uk canada and the us people citizens on impersonating scamming running metaphor tricks more on rapist games in neighborhood daily basis and they are able to befool western nations so that is why the crime record uh, bureau has reported that 28% surge in crime against foreigners okay this includes scamming impersonator impersonation impersonators imposters a lot of other things which goes beyond understanding okay this i cannot cover in this one topic i am going to detail later on we already know india was known as the uh, largest scammer with the the india was known as the largest scammer with cra scam irs scam and also the call center scams there are fake call centers which operate from india and they make foreign calls using uh, phone uh, snooping technology or phone scooping technology and they are able to make a call with any phone number to foreign nations foreign citizens and try to be um, become imposters impersonator for any official let's say irs or cra official and then they ran uh, ask the ransom money or basically they hijack them to uh, provide money for uh, various schemes on uh, fake irs scams or cra scam which was known to the world community okay folks on world disasters natural disasters you can call mother nature wrath we see the storm of fire which happened in mount marapai philippines where we see indonesia where we see this uh, volcano erupting uh, which is basically sending ash cloud to 10000 feet high in the sky and this has been a major event and it has been ongoing right now there has been millions of displacement occurring out of this event this was a subsequent event you can say just next to next after there was a 7.6 mag earthquake felt in philippines so this was also a major event uh, and this was a ground shaking event also apart from this event there was a major uh, mother nature wrath on india india south basically where the cyclone manchung has basically left uh millions thousands and thousands of people displaced almost about 30000 people were displaced from their homes and it has left uh, dozens dead and uh, the inundation of water at at least every level has destroyed the complete city of chennai even the apple production center which was in chennai uh, periphery was uh, forced to get closed because of this uh, inundation of water and the sewage water was flowing all over chennai so this uh, basically it's called a mismanagement of sewage water which got mixed with this uh, cyclone water and it was spread all over chennai and that's why the apple production center at uh, uh, periphery of chennai was forced to close and lot of schools colleges all were forced to close in chennai which is south of india 
so this is another major disaster which occurred on december 4th 5th you can see this uh, pile of uh, cars basically uh, uh, running across the streets like uh, ducks so they were basically uh, all under the water and a lot of other damages to infrastructure was seen in chennai which is south of india chennai is a major city out of uh, four cities chennai is one of the major major city in india after mumbai chennai calcutta and delhi they are known as the major metropolitan city and if chennai can go dead like this what can happen across the world people are shocked by various events which are occurring as you can say mother nature wrath and uh, these volcanic activities these earthquakes these cyclones uh, these uh, water flooding uh, the sewerage flooding in the city is basically an eye opener for the world for events to come so as i keep predicting for year 2024 is going to be major challenge for humanity i have already released hashtag may 2024 mro in may 2023 i always keep predicting these events a year before not on the day or on the week on the month but a year before i have always predicted events like uh, in a uh, Uh, pandemic of 2020 which is basically covid-19 pandemic i predicted in june july 2019 you can search by google search hashtag #may2020 ww3 so i am predicting these events because i can see what is going to happen to humanity i don't ask anything in return uh, however this metaphor morons of india imposters impersonator goons gangs they are going to play metaphor with world community world leadership is getting befooled by these imposters impersonators who are going to demand things these goons are playing metaphor games around the neighborhood wherever i go they play the metaphor games because uh, the world leadership is somehow befooled by these indian goons or scammers that basically i am asking something in favor in return however i have never taken anything in return on law and order situation uh, basically the biggest battle being fought is in india with the married females which are almost about or over 300 million married females who wants to have india constitution give them the law of marital rape as a criminal uh, event or a criminal act basically india since 1947 independence from the uk rule has continued uh, the marital rapes a massive marital rapes of india females without any uh, criminalization or without any punishment however now in 2023 the females of india which is over 300 million females which are married there are over 600 females overall married are 6 300 million they are asking marital rape laws to be introduced in india uh, we see all these menaces of human trafficking and lot of other events which are basically a social anti social events or you can say immoral events human trafficking has been on crackdown by the us for past 2 years now and we can see various human trafficking uh, agencies or agents being uh, being caught in the us including the sex trafficking so this has been uh, one of the major focus of the us authorities however india uh, authorities are not focusing on human trafficking or sex trafficking agencies for some reason they are sleeping over this major issue as we know the human trafficking is the fastest growing empire industry in the world with over 150 billion us dollar profits per year so this is one of the largest fastest growing industry and if the authorities all over the world don't tackle this human trafficking or sex trafficking uh, there is going to be major upheaval or crime surge in those nations where human sex trafficking is not being punished or the criminals are not being put behind the bars and that is why we see all this rise in rapes in india the india is always reporting rise in rapes every year and this indicates sex trafficking has a having a major role in india so all these events are anti social immoral basically the world community has to also act upon it it's not that the authorities or the government has to take sole responsibility but as a human being we all must eradicate all these uh, demonic devils uh, basically who are planning sex trafficking human trafficking drugs trafficking g- gun cartel uh, daylight broad light murders of people they are all basically linked together okay one major good news from russia which was a major move from russia basically russia bans the gay movement in russia and all lgbtq plus 
and gay are being banned in Russia, which is one of the best move, I'll say, from Russia. I totally applause the Russia government and Russia authorities on banning the LGBTQ and the gay community uh, because they are going to be one of the major immoral activities which include sex trafficking, human trafficking, drugs trafficking. So this LGBTQ and gay community is basically somehow linked with sex trafficking and the drugs cartel because this is all being done with the uh, under shadow or the shadow uh, trades and international LGBTQ movement has come to complete halt in Russia which is one of the best move I'll say and we must commend Russia and Russia authorities especially the Russian police force which raided the gay venues in Russia after top court bans international LGBTQ movement so police has carried out raids on gay venues in Russia late Friday two online Russian news outlets reported so this is one of the best uh, move by Russia. I again applause them. And with this, I'll end this session. Thanks.